We have another remaster coming, this time for Naughty Dog's The Last of Us Part 2. It does feel like every other month we have a new remaster or a remake, and truly I've always been a defender of this just because I believe some games need them. I love a good video game almost as much as I enjoy a great looking game with good fidelity and responsive controls, especially when it's a game like Rockstar's Bully or even the GTA Remaster Trilogy. In theory, that was a good idea, although we know that it failed terribly. Another example is the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves remastered. They were good as well and brought a beautiful game from 2015 to look even better with higher frame rates, and it was worth it in my opinion. Opinion. Another recent one is from Naughty Dogs themselves, with the remake of The Last of Us Part 1. However, like I mentioned just now, that was a full remake and not a remaster. This one was built from the ground up, and many people were angry about the remake and the price. But I wasn't. I love the first game, it's a masterpiece and one of the greatest stories I've ever experienced in gaming. One of my favorite games ever. And although the first one looked great when The Last of Us Part 2 finally came out, I kept thinking, wow, this game feels and looks incredible. I wish the first one looked and played this way. And with the remake, that was able to happen and it brought the game back to the spotlight and many people played it for the first time and for people that already loved it, like me, it was a treat and worth every penny. But The Last of Us Part 2 came out in 2019 and if I'm not mistaken, although it wasn't fully upgraded for the PS5, it did receive a 60 frames update. So it feels like it's not really needed at all. However, sitting back and thinking a little bit about it, I'm not really angry or bothered by it. And if you already are an owner of the PS4 version, you can upgrade for $10, which has kind of become the standard that they've set for these types of things. When I did see the price for it, I kind of rolled my eyes but the best thing would have been for it to have been a free upgrade but the game is about four years old honestly not really that old but what's another ten dollars a couple years later you are one dumb son of a bitch and it's your choice. If you decide you want it or not, you don't have to spend the money. With the upgraded version, you do get some new perks and they seem kind of interesting depending on who you are. Some of these are No Return Roguelike Mode, which is a new challenging take on the series for those gamers that really want a special test. You also have Lost Levels with Dev Commentary. This is apparently going to be four levels that were not seen in the original game, which could freshen things up or piss you off more. You'd also have Guitar Free Play because that's awesome, Graphical Enhancements of course, and Dual Sense integration which is what every gamer needs and there's a little bit of sarcasm there by the way if you didn't catch it so it does have its perks I'll be getting it to experience some of these features and probably bring a couple videos out for you. However, I will not be replaying the full game and I want to emphasize that. And we really get to the main point of this video. Whether you like it or not, I think The Last of Us Part 2 is one of the most emotionally draining games that I've ever played. Probably the most. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. I played it nonstop the weekend of release and when I finished it, I was drained, tired, sad and depressed. It was brutal. However, it made me feel real emotions and anger with all these twists and turns. I believe it was worth it. But one playthrough is enough for me. I've gone back over the years and only played Ellie's missions, the flashback scenes with Joel, and really that's about it. I still do not care for Abby or Lev. I'm sad and torn that Joel was killed, but even more bothered that a character like Jesse with so much potential was also killed. I'll never be a fan of Abby or what she did, and I don't hate the actress or whatever. It's just personal preference. There's an emotional game there that makes makes you ask yourself tough questions and it reflects on what kind of person you might be. Each person will have a different view. Some of us think we are more righteous than thou and say, oh, I'm glad that Abby got payback. Others are going to say, I really don't care. I wish Joe would have killed even more fireflies for Ellie. And I'm probably with the latter. Which feeling is the correct one? Only you really know that. The Last of Us Part 2 Remaster releases January 19, 2024. It will be $10 if you already own the game for PS4, and it will be, I'm assuming, $39.99 if you do not own it yet. It's me. It's me. Look, look. It's me. He tried to... Oh, baby girl. It's okay. It's okay. No. It's okay. 